<laughs> that is so cool, man. Enjoy my reactions, but you don't feel like waiting a week for the next upload? That's cool, because I got you covered. Chances are, by the time you watch this show on YouTube, I'll already have the full seasons available over on Patreon in their complete unedited glory. All you gotta do is become a tier 2 patron. And if you just so happen to be a viewer who wants to request things from me, such as movies and shows, then you can take your loyalty even further by becoming a tier 3 patron. The ball is in your court, and I'm completely at your service. So take advantage of these opportunities now. Yo, what's going on you guys? This is your boy RBG, aka the Random Black Gamer, here with me, myself, and I on the ones and twos, and this is We Ain't Seen Reactions, the place where I react to everything I ain't never seen. And today, if you read by the title, it's time to scrap on those driver belts for some more Common Rider X Aid reactions. Now, the last time we left off, guys, we found some new revelations going on with Emu's Bugster virus. As it turns out, this thing goes all the way back and is connected also with Kuruto, who was the main cause behind it because unbeknownst to Emu, who is a big fan of Gem Entertainment or Gem Corp, you know, and all their products and games and stuff, um, he got this Buckster virus because Karuto, the, being the petty bastard that he is, decided to give it to him after being jealous of the ideas that Emu submitted. He couldn't get over the fact that Emu had better ideas as a game designer than he did himself. So, yeah, man, um, I don't know how to feel about that. I feel like that right there is just insane. Um, but I do like how they tied it into the Y2K virus. You know, how we thought it wasn't going to be anything, you know, because nothing for the most part happened. But there were fragments or remnants of the virus, which my man Caruso utilized and made into a virus and implanted into a new game called Mighty Number uh, C or something like that. Mighty Adventure C, something along those lines. And he shipped it to Emu. And when Emu put the game in, instead of the game playing, it exuded the virus and it gave it to him. So he became like the the first person ever to have this virus that was made after this nigga Karuto was just being petty man but you know all those things were revealed because Karuto felt like he was at his wits end you know he was at the end of his rope uh he somehow got the virus and stuff and you know uh being the simp doctor that Emu is he felt like he was obligated to help Karuto, you know, because he is a doctor and his first mission is to help all patients that are sick. But as it turns out, fucking Karuto implanted himself with the virus on purpose just to get in close, you know, because the some kind of organization was after him, like the Ministry of Health, if I'm not mistaken. And they knew that he was doing all kinds of crazy shit and they were confiscating all his stuff. So in order to make sure he was safe, he was like, let's just go ahead and come up with this idea of making myself sick. That way the CR can keep me hidden and I can do whatever I need to do in order to bring my fucking uh, plans to fruition, which he was able to do, man. He has a new form, which I'm not going to lie, it's not as different as the usual form that he has. Uh, the critical dead mode or whatever, uh, gem level X. It's powerful, but it's like, I guess it's just immortal at this point. You know, it's nothing you can do with it at all. Uh, so, yeah, that's where we were. Uh, so we're going to see how they resolve this. If I'm not mistaken, um, my guy Taiga, he also had a driver as well, which was like a prototype, but it ended up failing him. So we're going to see how that goes as well, man. So uh, let's say we go ahead and jump into this, man. This is going to be episode 23 titled To The Max, Dead or Alive. Here we go. Really? So the pressure is on then. Oh yeah, he melted the fucking driver. Spoiled fucking brat. I can't stand this guy. He has all the money and resources to do good things, but he wants to be petty, man. Yeah. He should. Yeah. 
<laughs> Excuse me, come again. Maybe he's not meant to hold the damn thing. This is all convenient, man. I lost a fucking driver. There's a new driver. Please do. I'll give you this bop it driver for this tacky one that you got. Yes, this is a concerto of carnage. <laughs> Yeah, I thought I'd let you live, man. We even came back so soon for. Nice. They just spray painted it. All right. We well, have some kind of cheat code site. Hey, let's go. Okay, you got the Mighty Brothers X out there. Let's get it. What does it do? Who gives a shit about the fucking rules? You've been breaking all the rules just because you think you're the leader of this shit. Why would you turn your back if you know this motherfucker can survive that shit? Yeah. Yeah, use your imagination, bro. Oh. Okay, man. Do something. This guy's about to die. Here we go. Just flick it. Mm. Oh, shit. So y'all still didn't perfect it? It's still not doing anything. <laughs> this guy. Okay, and yeah, just manifest some shit, man. <laughs> Damn. So I guess that shit only happens in Disney movies. Get your ass back here. <laughs> Think your little reptile armor is going to help you? Get knocked out of that shit just like your father used to. <laughs> Bootleg gas shit. Get that shit out of here. Goddamn Payless toy you got. That's right. We gotta do this for him, man. Cujo. We gotta spin the block. Oh shit, he's going evil. He has photo red eye. The fuck is this? X Men 2 opening? Why are they showing a little ge genetic DNA shit? I don't think he wanted this, though. Ooh. Nice. What's that say? Ooh! <laughs> Maximum. Click it! Let's do this. Here we go! <laughs> Wow, it's a Gundam. Shit, look how buff he is. <laughs> it looks so badass. Hopefully he just stays like that. This isn't the first form of the transformation. Mm. I don't know about the articulation. That might vary. Let's see how flexible he is and all this shit. We'll see about that. Oh, wow. Really? Combine the 
form one giant turd monster. Nice. <laughs> Eliminate even the toughest stains. You ready for overkill? Wow, they all come tumbling down. It's that maximum power, boy. Oh, wow. Bitch! Wow. <laughs> it's like one of those Hulkbuster suits. <laughs> it's like, thud, 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 thud. I ain't saying, boy, you did. Really? I'm already better than you creatively, though. What are you about to do now? Oh, shit. He's about to rage quit. I thought so. They always do this. Innocent civilians. Really? Oh, okay. What is this going to do to them, though? This guy's getting high off of y'all suffering. Can you really do that, though? What you got there? Bruh, this guy really has a severe god complex. This is sad. Get that shit out of my face. Fire. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna try to get that shit off of. Oh, wow. If Crashing Got was a person, it would definitely be Karuto. Girl, me five, finish. Okay. Looks like he's gonna beat you, bro. Wow. They canceled each other out. Really? Mm. I'm pressing buttons. Why does he turn sinister looking when he does that? <laughs> that is so cool, man. Uh, stay select that thing. This guy is impenetrable, man. Look at that. He's punching you all up in your face. All your little clones. Little knockoffs. You might as well. Don't stop him either. Don't get in his way. <laughs> Here we go. Finisher. Clicking open it. Yeah. Oh, I think he did a power geyser? Shit. 
Long finish with an uppercut. Oh shit. Okay. Nice. <laughs> Let the wire physics commence. Hey. <laughs> Like he barely has enough articulation to do the dab he wanted to do. <laughs> Bruh, shut up. <laughs> Alright, I was like, you don't give a fuck about him. What are you gonna do? Ending the oh. You know, you gonna do is absorb him into the Digivice? Get the fuck back. No, don't cry like a bitch now. You created this. You caused all of this, sir. This reminds me of that kid Nishi from Gantz. He was a badass at first, now you want to cry like a little biatch. Well, usually guys who have this philosophy never die. They never stay dead for too long. He might come back in the form of something else. It's not over yet, though. Bro, he knows something ain't right. Something in the milk ain't clean. Yeah, you can't save all of them. Not even the shit bags like Karuto. Really? Just gonna get one good scream out. Well. That right there was episode 25, or was that 24? No, the 23. How did I get 25? <laughs> yeah, episode 23, man. That was a pretty fun episode. It seems like Karuto has bitten the bullet, but you just never know, man. It's like, this guy just has a way of cheating death. But man, what a way to make a brand new form, you know, like make that debut very spectacular. X8 Maximum Gamer Level 99. It's a very powerful form, and I love it how it looks aesthetically, man. It has a very bulky, like, aesthetic going for it. Kind of puts me in the mind of something you would see from, like, one of those fighters, you know, like, where a character transforms into a more bulkier version of themselves, and they become, like, these tanks that can't be stopped, you know? So, uh, yeah, it was really cool to see that. Um, but it is kind of awkward and a little bit weird that whenever Emu gets ready to transform his eyes turn red i think we saw a glimpse of that once karuto told him that he was the one that actually made that virus and brought it to him at his doorstep and caused him to get sick you know and we saw him do that uh for a split second only to kind of shake it off so yeah i guess that's just going to be a thing you know I, maybe that's part of his alter alternate ego who knows but um yeah uh parado he seems like he has his own plans which we kind of knew for the most part because at the karuto went on that whole superiority complex thing and just was calling himself god he kind of started like you know waving off all of his subordinates and that that's nothing but a means to an end just pawns you know meant to do his bidding you know but Parado, he has other plans. You know, he is, for the most part, the most developed version of the Buckster virus, you know. Um, and it's just crazy that, in essence, Emu is like his dad, in a sense. It's almost like Emu and uh, Karuto are his parents, you know. They were the reasons why he came to be and manifested what he is now. But I can't wait to see what he's going to do, man. I can't wait to see how this whole... Uh, Kamen Rider Chronicles thing is going to happen. 
Uh, right now, it seems like Emu is very sad. You know, he's sad at the fact that he had to watch a quote unquote patient die. You know, even though Karuto, he wasn't a patient anymore. It's like he's, you know, he overcame the illness because that was the plan all along. But he did hate that, you know, he wasn't able to save Karuto. So, yeah, overall, I'll give this episode an S. Really enjoyed it. The action was off the chain, even though the uh, articulation in the new form was limited. It was just cool how he showcased how powerful he was. But anyways, let's go ahead and jump into this next episode, guys. This is going to be episode 24 titled Go Together, Embracing Your Ambitions. Let's do this. Yeah, who's my man over there? Okay, so they're a band. No wonder they look so peculiar. Like JoJo characters. Wow. Bro, get these fake ass Kingdom Hearts characters out of here. That shirt is tight, though. I like that. Uh oh. Oh shit, she's passing out. Oh, he's passing out too. This guy have on lip gloss. Fuck. Uh oh! Wow. <laughs> oh shit, big boy. <laughs> you really gonna let big boy get away with them damn cloggers? Them Heiachi Mishima sandals? Psh, get the fuck out of my face! Stinky ass breath. Oh wow. Alright, Emu, you know what to do. No, don't use that one. Use the other one we just got. Genius game at M, huh? Who the fuck is this? Terry Bogar? Luckiest guy in the universe. Okay. <laughs> Blast this fool. We don't know what the fuck this is. We didn't come to see him on this show. <laughs> oh, wow. I mean, doesn't that hurt your tenders, though? All right, Prairie Winkle, let's see what you got. Ooh. What the fuck is that, a fruit gusher? You got on the Jordan ones? <laughs> ah, okay. Yep, not scratching this spandex. Leo Red. Okay, is it like a lion? Star power, baby. Yeah. Yeah, man. The fuck is that? Must be great sale man pose. Nah, we got this. Yeah, let's go ahead and split it up right quick. I'm about to one up you and show you how you're not as cool as you think you are. Let's see if we can get a perfect score. Hmm. Is that the theme of this character's series? Mm. What level is this Red Ranger at, though? Yeah. <laughs> nice. Why does that look like the hand from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure? Or Sticky Fingers? Oh, yeah, don't run. Oh, shit. What? <laughs> Reminds me how my mom used to whoop my ass. Hey, Warriors of Virtue unites. Uh, that's one down. Somebody should have bought you a get bottle of Gatorade then. Yeah. 
Yeah, but they're kind of idiots that don't like me. Just like that, huh? You're not going to come back ever again? What was that dream? Saito Stadium, huh? Yeah. <laughs> That's not going to work with those guys, though. No. I guess he's just accepted the fact she's always going to be there. She's kind of similar to Poppy in a way. They couldn't. <laughs> I tried. Who is this? Hey. <laughs> I like to pop you on good time. No, let me stop. <laughs> I'm a Gasaki. Okay. I love you. Dude. All that sipping energy is going to give her a virus. Alright, Mr. Pew Pew, let's see what you can do. It's bullets against the swords. Mission Stottle. What about you, Mr. Roboto? Oh my god, this guy is so eccentric and I love it. <laughs> nice. I mean, that's just her alter ego. You should see her true freak come out. This is not what you want, sir. You sure you can handle all those pixels, sir? <laughs> well, where are you going? You guess you're going to try to hit on this chick, too? What? The fuck does that have to do with anything? Oh, Lord. Uh-oh. Mr. Wheel of Fortune over here. Wow, you can jump into the computers and stuff too. Vroom, vroom, vroom! <laughs> Get this guy a cough drop. <laughs> Hold on, bro. Shit. Let me catch my breath. Love it. Love to see it. Yeah. It's like I'm what you call a rare badass Eevee. Ooh, okay. Super speed. <laughs> Yeet. I knew he was going to make quick work of this guy as soon as he used that.
<laughs> Bro, what the fucking alternator ain't working? Wow. Oh. Why are you pressuring this poor girl? Yeah, uh-huh. Can't resist, could you girl? You better do that. <laughs> Fill all my days. You see it anymore. Wow, she's gonna be singing while we're battling. Power up. Oh, invincibility or invisibility. Hmm. Damn. Yeah, don't try to bear for mercy now. About to get all of these critical finishes. Damn. What the fuck? Wow, that was kind of overkill. <laughs> The true diva. Oh no! This guy. Wait a minute. Why did he say Kamen Rider Chronicle? How does he know about that? Wow, did he just kidnap her? That's alright, bro. This guy got a whole fro. What? What's, she's got to be playing, right? Please, just say psych. Please tell me it's just a fart. Every time this chick... I swear... Every time she thinks she's doing good, she has these moments. But this is weird. What is he doing in this room? What is this, a server room? Oh, wow. Okay, so you can restore all these different monsters back to life. Hey, <laughs> BB. Beeboo, bapu, beeboo. Even him? Isn't that of. Uh, yeah, that. What's that guy's name? Graphite? Wow. Wow, this looks like a weird scenario. I don't even want to say what I think it looks like, but it looks weird. So he really has all the pieces to the puzzle, man. No, bruh, I ain't ready. I ain't ready, yo. But guys, that right there was episode 24. Go together embracing your ambitions. That was a pretty fun episode, man. We got a chance to see one of these guys, man, from the Super Sentai series, Cho Superhero Tizen. Yeah, that was tight. Very, very good, man. Um. I don't know. I felt like it did kind of come out of the, the blue, though. You know what I mean? It's like we get a chance to see this character, you know, like in all his epic Sentai-ness. But I don't know. It's 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 just weird to me, man. It's, it's weird. Shishi Red is what he, what he called himself. Um, 
I guess that was just a part of their whole superhero time block. You know, like they, they usually do these big crossovers and stuff with Kamen Rider and Super Sentai programs. But I was expecting a little bit more, maybe other characters that were going to be involved. But I know that, you know, there are bigger things going on here. You know, in the grand scheme of things, there's probably something else that we would have to see in order to get the full explanation of why that character appeared. Like watching his respective series. So, yeah, um, it's unfortunate that I won't be able to see that unless I watch that actual show. But overall, though, this is another fun episode. Um like we got a chance to see these rock stars uh become bucksters and stuff of that nature all the while all these other things are going on too it's like while this group doesn't get along and emu is giving the advice that she should talk it out with the group so they can work in great cohesion we see the same thing going on with uh the common rider camp you know they can't all get on the same page which Seems like it's always been that thing. We've never really just seen them go all out as a team. It's always been for their own personal gain. You know, we have seen occasional times where, yeah, they're doing this stuff for each other with Emu kind of, you know, being the more sympathetic out of the bunch. But for the most part, there's never really been that much group cohesion, you know, like, well, I guess you could say the whole dragon power up where they use the different pieces. That's one of those examples. But they always say it's for something else um this new guy this um new dude that's like uh, ahead of the gen corp you know i'm wondering where he came from like he's the new president or whatever he just comes out of the blue he has this very kind of eccentric vibe going for him where he he's kind of flirtatious with the girls but we see now that that was for a particular reason you know he he likes he likes Poppy, but he wanted to utilize her to, you know, do what they need to do with the whole Kamen Rider Chronicles game that they're coming out with. And now it seems like they have all the pieces. Like I said, man, Paradox, he just is one of those guys that's very clever and he lives up to his name. You know, he lives up to the whole schematic that he has for a Kamen Rider being this big puzzle solver and having all the pieces to those puzzles. So... Uh, yeah, it sucks that my girl Poppy got uh, tricked into that and stuff like that. Uh, stuff like that. But we're going to see how it goes. We're going to see what this is going to manifest. So, um, yeah, I don't have anything else to add to that. If I were to rate this episode, I would have to give it an... Um, I'll give it a high A+. Plus. I think an A plus is pretty good for it. So, yeah. But anyways, it's going to do it for us today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this reaction because, as always, I have a blast reacting to these things with you and for you. If there's anything that I may have missed or got misconstrued, by all means, provide the proper context in the comment section below, and I promise I will get back to you. But once again, this is your boy, RBG. We ain't seen the reactions. I'll catch you guys in the next reaction to Kamen Rider X-Aid. Peace.